Welcome to part 8A of this video series on how to use Evernote to raise your grades. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to download and begin using the Web Clipper for your Firefox browser. The first step in this process is to open your Firefox web browser. In the address bar at the top type in evernote.com. Once you are on the site then go to the middle of the top of the page and when you hover over products don't click on anything but when you hover over it you'll see a drop down that says Evernote Web Clipper at the bottom click on the Web Clipper and it takes you to this page and since we're using Firefox and that's the most popular browser for Evernote it's pretty easy you just click on get Web Clipper for Firefox once you click on that page it takes you to the page in Firefox where you can add on the Evernote Web Clipper to your browser. Click on Add to Firefox and you'll see the little download part up here. Now while that's going I want you to pull up your Evernote window and inside of Evernote you need to create a new notebook. Remember you can do that by going to File and click New Notebook and this one is going to be called Web Clippings. I recommend that you store all of your web clippings and you'll get those by using the Evernote Web Clipper. I recommend that you store all of those in the same notebook and make sure that's a synchronized notebook so that you can find them later more easily. At the end of every week I recommend that you empty the web clippings notebook into the individual notebooks. But having one notebook where you store your clippings automatically will make it much quicker when you're snagging them on the go. So after you create that notebook, it'll be a blank notebook, and let's go back and see if the add-on is downloaded. Okay, now the add-on is finished downloading, and we're going to click on Install Now, and it will up here in the top left. It will say Evernote Web Clipper will be installed after you restart Firefox. Unless you're running a really important program in the background, then go ahead and click on Restart Now and just wait for oh, maybe 30 seconds. When it comes back up it'll look pretty much just like you left it with the same tabs and everything but the difference is that now up on the right hand side you will see a little Evernote elephant and that is the web clipper. So just for the example part here I'm going to highlight this portion of text and I'm going to clip it. That means I'm going to store it in my Evernote folder. So I go up and click on the elephant and it asks me these questions. You'll need to log in with your Evernote account and after you do that click on sign in. Next it's going to ask you a couple of questions about your individual note. First it's going to ask you what notebook you want it in and we're going to pick web clippings. Then you can add tags if you'd like, add a comment to your note and you can change the title if you would like. Good news if you're using Evernote to clip sections of an article for a research paper the clipper will automatically store the URL of the page with the clipping so you don't have to worry about going back for your bibliography. Here in this drop down you could choose you could clip just the URL if you want to come back later. If you really liked all the information you could clip the full page. You could clip the article which would be just the text information from the page or like we want to do here you can clip the selection. When you're done click on clip selection. Down in the bottom right you should get a box that pops up and it'll only stay there for about five seconds but it will say that your note has been stored in Evernote. The way to check that is to go to your Evernote account and when you pull up your Evernote account you should see that Evernote Web Clipper is now the first and only note under the Web Clippings Notebook. That means you did it correctly. Let's go back to Firefox for a minute because I want to show you how to change some of the settings for the Clipper if you need to. When you go to Tools, click on Add-ons and under Extensions you'll see Evernote Web Clipper. Well if you click on the Options there's a couple of important settings. First of all you can choose whether your clips get sent directly to Evernote Web or to Evernote on your desktop. Generally I recommend that you do it on Evernote on your desktop 
but if you synchronize frequently it won't make a difference because the Evernote web and your desktop will look the same. Next you can go through these settings and choose whichever ones you want. It doesn't make a lot of difference so feel free to pick whichever ones you would like. Down here in this section I will mention these default action you can choose generally you'll want to clip just the article. If you want to do the full page or the URL you can change that but I think generally you want to clip the article and the article selection you want to enable that. That allows you to clip just the highlighted selection instead of the entire article on the page. If you do click on Evernote on your desktop you'll see that there are a lot fewer options but that's because you can control them from your desktop now instead of on the web portal. We'll get into the web portal in a later video. Once you're finished click on save settings and close out this options box. Next I want to show you how it looks now when you go ahead and clip. So we'll highlight the same area of text in the Evernote tab and when you click on the clipper it goes directly to your clipping. You don't have to sign in or anything. Now in the background it will open your Evernote window with the individual note that you just created. So it's pretty easy. You just click on that clipper and it stores it in your Evernote account. This is where you would come now if you want to change the title, add tags, or store it in a different notebook. Alright, that's it for this video. In the next video, I will be discussing how to install the Web Clipper if you have a web browser other than Firefox.